right? So, you know, an Indian walks into a saloon, right? Dude in the saloon says, hey, man. Sorry, chief, but we don't serve no engines. You're going to have to leave. You know? And the, the, the guy that's standing at the bar goes, hey, you know something funny about that engine? I said, what? I said, what the hell has he got there? Looks like he's carrying a, a bucket. And he's wearing a gun. No. You better be nice to him. You never know. These engines are crazy. He might declare a war in here or something, man, and start shooting up the joint, you know. So he goes, Chief, didn't you hear me? You have to leave. He says, me want a beer. What do you mean you want a beer? I told you. You're going to have to leave. We don't serve no engines. I said him, me want a beer. Me no get him beer. Me go on war path. Burn him this whole place down. Chief, listen, come on. You know, we don't serve any. What do you want us to do? I said I'm bringing him beer. So the, the saloon keeper says, all right, I'll tell you what. He says, you're lucky. He says, it's only 3 o'clock. Same prime time yet. But he goes, all right, I'll bring you a beer. But after this beer, you're going to have to leave, okay, after you drink it. All right? I mean, I I, you know, I don't want to get in trouble, and I, I don't want nobody hanging me for serving you neither, you know? He goes, oh, um, okay. So he goes, all right, I'm going to go get you your beer. I'll be right back. You sit over here in the corner, way in the corner over there in the, that, that corner there, so in case somebody comes in, they won't even notice you're there. So he goes, gets him a beer, and he puts the beer on the table, and he says, all right, chief, go ahead, enjoy, and he walks away, all of a sudden, he, he hears, bam, 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 right, turns around, and looks, freaking engine, he, uh, take, he drinks the beer, and pulled his gun, and shot in the bucket, two or three times, right, and then he says, what the hell, is this guy nuts, so he runs over, he says, all right, you know, hey, Chief, what are you doing, man? Are you crazy? This, this, or that, you know? And you can't be firing that thing in here. And what the hell are you doing, you know? Me want another beer. Me want another beer. I tell you, get out of here. Me know them beer. I go on Warpath. I scalp you and whole family. All right, all right. I'll give you another one. So he goes by there, and the guy standing up at the bar says, No, no. Let's keep serving them. I'll pay for them. Okay? Let's see what the hell he's doing. He goes, Let's see if he does that again. So he brings him the beer. Sure enough, chief takes the beer, glug, 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 dons it right straight down, stands up, quick shoots in the bucket two, three times, right, with his pistol again. So now the guy at the bar and the saloon keeper are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Is he nuts or what? So he goes, damn, he goes, give him another one, see what happens. Oh, so, hey, chief, this one's on the house. Enjoy it. Same thing. Quick downs the beer, stands up, shoots into the bucket, right? He says, what are you doing shooting into that bucket? What do you got in there? He looks in there and he's, he sees, oh, my God, Chief, you're sick. What's wrong with you? There's a pile of shit in the bucket, right? I mean, the Indian must have shit in the bucket. So, he says, what the fuck? So, he says, oh, Chief, that's it, man, you know. You're going to have to go one more and you're gone. No, 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 no. We're going away. I don't care. Scout my family. I will do what you got to do. One more and that's it. You know what I mean? So Chief says, hmm, okay. So the guy brings in the beer, sets it on the table. She says, hmm, hold them right there, pale face. I'd be right on back. I remember something now I forget. He goes, this way, this is no good. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, sure, Chief. Hey, you know, I hope you fucking can't find your way. He walks back to the thing. Chief comes back in, goes back to the table. Goes, he's carrying something under his arm. Guy at the bar saying, what the hell is that? Saloon keeps says, I don't know. What the hell is he got? He goes, oh, my God. It's a dead cat. What the hell is he doing carrying a dead cat under his arm? Right? So they watch him. 
He sits down, grabs the beer, downs the beer, right? Pulls his gun out, shoots it into the bucket of shit two or three times, then takes the cat, rips a leg off, and, and eats it, right? Takes a couple of bites out of it. They're like, oh, my God, that's it, Chief. Get the hell out of here. That's it. You don't, I don't want to ever see you back here again. I'll kill you. But what? what? The guy at the bar saying, hey, uh, excuse me, proprietor, come here, man. I speak to you. So he goes back. He goes, what? What? Come on. I'm, I'm going to kick him out of here. He goes, no, no. Let's see if he does that again. This is something I've never seen. This. All right. One more time. That's it. And I don't care. After that, we're kicking him out where he does it or he don't. Brings him another beer. Sure enough. Chief downs the beer. Stands up, shoots in the bucket of shit two or three times, takes the other leg on the cat, rips it off, and starts eating it, right? Starts throwing him. I said, to the chief, let's go. You're out of here. I don't care, whatever. He goes, whoa, whoa, why am you throwing me out? He goes, why am I throwing you out? He goes, look what you're doing. And he goes, what? Me no do him nothing wrong. Me do him same as everybody else. What do you mean? Me do him nothing wrong. He goes, what do you mean? You, you take it, you, you drink the beer, and then you shoot, in a, shoot there in that bucket, and then you're eating a dead cat. What are you talking about? He says, me just trying to be him like white man. That's all. Me want to act him like white man. Be normal. Yeah, he says, act like a white man. How you figure you're acting like white man? He goes, well, me just want to come in here. He goes, drink beer, shoot shit, eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's kind of a slow day. Guy walks in the saloon with his dog. The barkeep says, hey, 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 buddy. Sorry, can't bring the dog in here. There's no dogs allowed. You know, and the guy says, oh, man, I, I got to have men here. He says, hey, you got to have shit. It's my joint. I'm telling you. No dogs like that. That's what I got. I, I'm blind, man. I. I just want to have a nice cold beer, and, and then I'll leave, you know. But, uh, you know, he won't bother anybody. You know, he's a, my C&I dog. You know, he goes, oh, you got him trained really well. You sure he won't bother anybody? Because if he bites somebody and I get sued, he goes, that's it. I'm going to be pissed. I'll come and I'll kill you. No, no, no. He's still good. And it's no problem. I just, I can't see without him, you know. So he goes, okay, come on up to the bar. I'll, I'll buy you a beer. It's on me. Right. Takes it, gets the beer, and he says, well, I'm going to go sit down because I'm really tired. You don't mind if I go drink the beer over there, do you? Nah, sure. Enjoy yourself. Relax. Just make sure your dog ain't in the middle of force somebody trip over it or anything. You know, it's not, nah, nah, no problem. So, you know, bartender starts doing his own thing. People are coming in, you know, and all of a sudden he hears, Arr! Poor dog screaming in pain, right? He looks up. What the fuck? He sees this guy, this blind guy, standing in the middle of the saloon. He's got the dog by the tail, and he's spinning it around over his head, right? The dog screamed for all his worth. He's like, what the fuck is this? And he stops, right? And he, he goes back to the table, sits down, right? Excuse me, excuse me, barkeep. Yo, barkeep, if you're in here, can I have another beer, please? The barkeep's like, what the fuck is this guy nuts? What the? I'm going to give him one more. Let's see what he does, you know? So he goes up there, he gives him another beer, goes back to the bar, and he's kind of watching out of the corner of his eye. Sure enough, all of a sudden, the guy gets up, walks to the middle of the floor, picks a dog, starts spinning around by the tail. Dog goes, ow, 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 screaming for all... The word. He goes, all right, God damn it, that's it. What the hell's wrong with you? You're some kind of nut. Get the hell out of here. Don't ever let me see you back in here. I should have known better, you know, you know, and all this stuff. And he goes, what? What did I do wrong? What do you do wrong? He says, look what you're doing. You're in the middle of Florida. You got the dog by the tail. What do you mean? He says, I'm just trying to have a look around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're really backwards, dudes. I mean, they live so far up in the mountains, man. That they don't even know what civilization's like. Well, they keep trying to bang this guy's daughter across the valley, right? Farmer. So 
he's tired of this man guarding his daughter's Jerry all the time. I mean, he don't get no sleep. They're sneaking around all the time, you know. Ah, oh, it's just terrible. So he devises a scheme. And so he catches the brothers one by one. He sets traps for them, and he catches them, okay? And he gets them together. He's got them all tied up in his barn. He walks out. He says, okay. He says, you know, this is it. I've had it. You know, you guys sneaking around all hours, the hours of the night trying to, trying to get my daughter and this and this and that. And he goes, I'll tell you what, I'll make you deal. He says, the first one of you... To bring me back the most ping pong balls will win my daughter's hand in marriage. Now, how's that sound? Now, the first brother says, Well, you know what I tell you? A ping pong. I don't reckon I know what one of them dang things is, but I can find out, I reckon. So, okay, it's a deal. Word to word. Uh, he says, eh, what about you, Jonah? Oh, yeah, that's a deal. I'll, I'll find out, too, when he finds out. You're wrong. Okay, that's good. Clem, how about you? <laughs> oh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, okay, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 okay, yeah. <laughs> See, the farmer's a smart old guy. Two brothers are normal as the day is long, but the third guy is a little retarded, right? He's a little slow. Okay, so he's caught, and he figures, well, even if the first or the second brother managed to pull it off, the third brother will forget it. By the time he'll be dead and gone, the daughter will be old, and, you know, he'll never have to worry about them sneaking around again. Well, farmer's sitting on his porch, been five years, been quiet as hell. Nothing moving. Just the way he likes it, right? All of a sudden, he hears... And he looks, he says, what the fuck? He sees all this dust coming up, right? He sees his five big fucking semis, right? Semi-trucks, right? Coming up down his property. He's like, what the shit is going? What the fuck? All of a sudden, he hears... He grabs a shotgun. He's already, what the hell? Hold it right there. I'll kill you. What the hell you guys think you're doing? Them all them big ass trucks all over my field there. Hey, hell, hell, I, I got you some. I got you some there, sir. Don't get all side. It's me. Holy shit. Jonah, that you? Yep, that's me. I got him. I win, I win, I win your daughter's hand in marriage. What What are you talking about? I don't see no ping pong balls. Said, well, step right this way. Here, here. Hey, everybody, open them up. The farmer goes, no, no, wait. All ping pong balls come rolling out of the back of the semi all over his property, right? So he's like, holy shit. So he goes, he goes, okay, where's she at? I got her. She's all mine. We're going to preach you right now. And he says, no, wait, 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 John. Oh, slow up. Slow up. Wait, you know, the brothers ain't come back yet. It wouldn't be fair. How do you know? Wait. Oh, that. What? No. Anyways, so he figures, well, I got it made. And he says, shit. He says, I can't believe he even found out what they were, you know. Yeah. Well, Man, we got the other two brothers, no problem. Well, five years, more go by. It's been 10 years now. He's out there. Dude, this is great. All of a sudden, he hears all this noise and gear grind. Looks down. He sees like 40 semis coming up his property. He goes, what the f He grabs his gun. Hold on. He thinks it's an invasion. You know what I mean? Damn, we're being invaded. Them damn commies is taking over. It's an army. You know, and then all of a sudden the dust clears and all the air brakes going off. Now the dude gets out. I'll win. I'll win the daughter's hand in marriage. Where's she at? Woo, yeah. Ah, I see my brother. That's all he brought. 
them skeezly, lizly little mound of trunks there. With, uh, <laughs> I got more than that. Shit. Hey, guys, open them up. Hold that. No, no, no. Psh, psh. All the trucks open up. Man, there's flying all of these. Like, ah, oh, shit. It's going to take me a year to clean all this shit up. There's zillions up and all. There's plenty of all betchies thinking, oh, fuck. You know? Okay, where shit? I want her now. I brought more than he did. I won. I won. He goes, wait, 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 wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes, you did bring more than your brother. But you got to wait. Clem ain't showed up yet. You know, wouldn't be fair. Now, we know you brought more than your brother, so he lost. He's out. But now Clem, Clem brings more than you. Well, you know, but I, I think you got the best chance of probably winning. So he goes, yeah, okay. He says, well, you best go home now and just sit around. And, uh, you know, when, when your brother comes up, we'll get you both and we'll let you know. And you can come over and then we'll uh, sort it all out. Okay, that sounds good to me. All right, make sure you tell me now when he pulls up. All right, yeah, well, we'll let you know. Farmer laughing under his breath, right, because he thinks that retarded fuck ain't never going to, you know what I'm saying? Did ping pong ball, he's lucky he knew how to even walk, let alone anything else, you know what I mean? Ping pong ball, shit. So now it's a matter of 15 years gone by, right? All of a sudden, the farmer, he's sitting out there just thinking, oh, this is great. Thank God that brother was retarded, man. Jesus, I'd be dead, you know. I can't believe them two guys even figured out where they were, let alone get their hands on that many of them. Why the hell did they do that? Yeah, you don't have to worry because we know Clem ain't never going to show up. So all of a sudden, he hears out in the distance. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? He sees one big old flatbed semi coming up his, his property, right? These two big giant fucking like telephone poles mounted, one on each side like a pair of antennas and some shit like some steel cables and something swinging back and forth, right? From the poles. You know what I mean? Mounted to the flatbed. And he's like, what the, f the fuck is this? So all of a sudden, you know... It, psh, psh. door opens up he's looking he's standing there like the oh, fuck are you this guy gets out of the truck right his clothes is all ripped up and shit and shredded and fucking his one arm's ripped off and shit his eyeballs the guy's got big hunks of this guy's hair's missing and shit you know what i mean he's he's got partial wooden leg and shit right and he's limping and humping and He's just all fucked up, this guy, man. Scars all over his body and shit. <laughs> and the farmer goes, Hey, man, who are you? <laughs> I'll win. I'll win. I'll, I'll win your, <laughs> your daughter's hands and nerves. Clem? Clem, is that you? <laughs> you you, you yelled out me. <laughs> Where's she at? I, I, I want my bride right now. He goes, but Clam. He goes, he goes but, but Clam, what, you didn't win. What, what you mean? I, I didn't win. But Clam, where, where's where's all your ping pong balls at? Oh, oh, oh God, God damn. Ping pong balls? I thought you says King Kong's balls. <laughs> he went and fucking denutted King Kong. <laughs> and so it was swinging between the telephone poles. He had the nut sack up there. <laughs> fucking redundant. Picks the fucking balls off of King Kong. So he's all tore up. His clothes is all shredded. He's all scarred. His eyeballs is missing his shit. King Kong fought him for his own nutsack. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Fucking antique, bro. I used to know some really good shit. 